Hello again, salespreneurs. This is Don Araldi from Pipeliner, here today to give you a training session on how you properly input new leads into Pipeliner. It's a very important part of your milestone number five tasks. Primarily, we're looking for you to schedule appointments with new opportunities. And once you've scheduled those appointments, you need to make sure those new leads are entered into Pipeliner. And that's what this training is focused on today. So just know that each of you currently has access to two different versions of Pipeliner. One is what we call your demo space, and one is the live Pipeliner sales space. So what's the difference between the two? Well, technically, the software is exactly the same, all the same features and functionality. The only difference is the data. <clears throat> So in your demo version, that we provide to you so you can go in and play and input things and see how things work and practice, and you can't mess anything up by doing it. But in the Pipeliner sales, the live Pipeliner sales version, that's how we run our company. And so we only put real information in there. We don't go in there to practice, okay? So let me show you how you easily find out which version you're in, because you always want to be in the live Pipeliner sales version when you're inputting new leads. So it's really a very simple process. Once you open Pipeliner, this is where you start on the Navigator screen. But if I take my cursor over to the far right, you can see a little picture of me. That's my profile. And if I click on Profile, it says, yeah, you're logged in as Don, and you're currently using the demo space. This is my demo space, where I can go in and practice, and I use this to give demonstrations to people. But this is not what I want you to be looking at if you're about to input a new lead. So how do you change this? It's real simple, just click on anywhere on this tile, okay? And what that's going to do is open up a new window, and show you here are your available spaces. You won't have four of them like I do. You will have just two. And it'll look something just like what you see here on the right side of my screen. So here is my demo environment, and you should have one as well. And then this is the live Pipeliner sales environment. Okay, so if you, if you when you clicked on your profile, it said you were in your demo space, then just come over here and click on Pipeliner Sales. And now that's going to restart Pipeliner, but instead of being in your demo space, it's gonna restart it now in the live Pipeliner Sales space. And just like you've always seen, it's gonna start on the Navigator page. Nothing different, it's all the same information, okay? However, if I go double check, I'll go click on my profile, You'll see now it says Pipeliner Sales, not Demo Dawn. So that's how I know I'm in the right space. So always check that and make sure you know what space you're in before you do anything, okay? All right, from here, we now need to create a new lead. And there are two different ways for you to create a new lead in Pipeliner. It's very simple. One of those methods is to simply click on the leads tab down here in the bottom left, and you can go there to input a new lead or create a new lead. Your other option is to click on the plus sign down here in the very bottom left corner, and that's to add something new, okay? And you can see there are all different sorts of things you can add that are new. We're gonna add a new lead. So if I click on new lead, it takes me right to the new lead screen. Now this inputs very simple. I'm gonna take a few minutes to explain everything to you, but you can do this very quickly, okay? Under name, we're not looking for your prospect's personal name. This would be the name of the company. So I'll just make one up here. Let's call it Acme Corp. We then ask you, what's your personal likelihood? And you can see, uh, I already have leads in here under Acme Corp, but that's okay, because I'm not going to save this one. I'm just gonna walk you through the process. But this is important to know, if there's already a lead in there under Acme Corp, you may wanna take a look at that and see if it's the same company. 
and then you wouldn't have to start all over. It's already in the system. So let's start with personal likelihood. And this is, what is your gut feel at this point? We haven't done a presentation yet, but what do you think is the likelihood that we're going to be able to successfully close a deal with this lead? So I may say, oh, it's somewhat likely, or maybe it's gonna to be tough, it's gonna to be competitive, right? Or it's really challenging. I don't know if we have much of a chance here. I don't think you should choose highly likely or very likely at this point because we haven't even done a demonstration for this client. So in this case, I'll just say likely. We wanna know what type of lead this is. This is a partner lead. You are a form of partner for us. We wanna know how big their sales team is. So pick the appropriate range. And then sales unit is also very important. Now we have salespreneurs from all over the world so just pick the correct area that you are located in. Okay, in this example, I'll choose Africa. We wanna know the lead source. Well, the lead source is always gonna be the same for you. It's the salespreneur, that's you. Okay, you don't need to worry about lead price. You can leave that blank. Anything you see that's grayed out, you don't need to worry about. You can leave that blank. Okay, and so next, we wanna know the name of the company, not just the name, okay? We have the name right here, but that's what this lead is gonna be called. Now we wanna collect information on the company itself. And so you need to fill out this section. And so you can just click, I'm gonna click on create. And again, I'm gonna type Acme Corp, okay? And you have a, a series of questions here to answer about Acme Corp. Again, what's the sales unit? It's Africa. Again, you see that there are some already in here that are Acme Corp. Okay, so if it was one of these, you would go ahead and pick it. If it's not one of these, then you would go ahead and create your new account. What's their website address? Okay, maybe it's www.acmecorp.com. I'm just making this up. Maybe you have a LinkedIn address for that company. We'd like to see that so we can learn more about this company and their business. Tell us what industry they're in. There's a long list of options here, okay? And if you don't find what you're looking for on the list, you can just type other and choose other, okay? But don't just choose other because you don't wanna go through the list. Make sure you pick the industry they're in, choose other if it's not on the list. If you have the information, we'd love to know what their annual revenues are. It gives us a sense of how big of a client we're working with and how many employees they have. Choose a number. If you don't know, don't guess, you can leave it blank. But the idea is we're trying to get as much information as we can here. It helps us to make a more meaningful presentation to these people. Who's the primary contact? First and last name. What's their phone number? Put in a phone number. What's their email address? Don't worry about a second dairy phone number or a fax number. We'd like their corporate, <coughs> excuse me, their corporate office address, right? You might have more than one location. Ideally, you should be putting in the corporate headquarters location here, a street address, city, state, zip code, etc. Okay, in this case, I'll just add in Nigeria for now. You don't need to worry about their billing address. We're not getting ready to send them a bill yet. Okay, and once you've done that, you can save this account. And now your new lead, Acme Corp, that we're still creating, is assigned to this company, Acme Corp. And now we need to know who's the primary contact there. And I just showed you that it was John Johnson at Acme Corp. So we're gonna go in here and create a new contact. It's male, and it's John Johnson. Again, if he has his own personal LinkedIn page, Great, let's put that in here. 
You notice it searched the system for other John Johnsons, and you can see if John Johnson at Acme Corp is there already. He's not, okay? So it wants to know his email. It was just JJ at Acme Corp. It's already got the phone number, but this was the corporate office phone number. If his phone number is different, go ahead and put it in, okay? Again, we'd like to see an address and save that. And so now you can see it has filled in the company and it has filled in the primary contact. So this now gives us some pretty good information. You should also add in here, when's the first time that you spoke with this person? Let's say that that was earlier in the week. Maybe it was the first. And then when did you set the appointment? Okay, I set the appointment that same day when I first talked to him. And when is that appointment set for? Well, maybe it's set for next Monday on the 7th, okay? And you notice it says tentative appointment. Once we actually have the appointment and we give the presentation, we'll enter in when the appointment was held. And we'll save that. And now that new lead shows up in Pipeliner as something that we can track and we understand what you're working on. If that presentation had been assigned to me, I could come in here and look up the company. I can see where they're located. I can look up their web uh, address and read all about their web page. I can go to their LinkedIn uh, profiles and read all about the officers of the company. And maybe I even find John Johnson on there and read about John. And so I can be well prepared for the meeting. This is also very important because with this lead input into the live Pipeliner sales environment, it means that you, the salespreneur, and it would be you showing up here, not me, are going to be credited as the owner of this lead, right? And remember, you get paid for opportunities that close when those opportunities belong to you. This is how this all starts. Right. So if you haven't filled out this information and I'll tell you right now, many, many salespreneurs are rushing through this and they don't fill out the company and they don't fill out the primary contact. If you want to make sure that you're getting credit for everything that you are due, if this ends up becoming a sale, right, fill out this information as completely as you can. It is very helpful to you and very helpful to us. OK. And that's it. Creating a lead is a really simple process. When you're finished, you can simply close out of this lead. And you're back to the beginning of Pipeliner. Don't forget that you're in the live version of Pipeliner. So if you now want to go play, what do you do? You come back over here to your profile. You click on this and you switch back to your demo space. Okay. Always make sure when you launch Pipeliner for the first time in the morning that you go over here to your profile and know what space you're in, okay? Just a good cautious step to take to make sure that everything's in the right place. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you is that you also have this right above your space or your domain, you have your profile. And let's make sure you notice I have a photograph in there. It's because I added one and you should add one to your profile. So click on your profile and it'll take you to a page for your profile. And it's going to show you your email address, your name, right? What company, language, phone number, everything we need to know about you should be listed here as well as your photograph. Okay, so if there is no photograph, add one. Let's get your profile as up to date as possible. It also helps us to know how best to contact you. And when you're done updating that, you can simply say save. Okay, so that's your lesson for this video, how to create a new lead in Pipeliner. Make sure you follow those steps carefully. It's not a difficult process. It's very easy to do. All right, thank you and good luck. Wish you good hunting as you sell and know that we're here ready to help in any way that we can. Thank you.